Welcome to Open Source Options. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install GDAL for Python using PIP. Now, I have a previous video that showed how to install GDAL for Python using Anaconda. Um, I'm still using the Anaconda prompt here, but I'm going to install this using the PIP method. And so this should work for whatever Python distribution you are using. Now, I'm going to note that if you're not using Conda, um, which you don't need to be for this tutorial, you could still come up with some discrepancies or some incompatibilities between GDAL and other Python packages or package versions. And so just because this works for me on my computer, and even if the installation works for you, you could still have some behaviors that prevent GDAL from working on your machine. And unfortunately, I don't have time to walk through each of those individual scenarios with you. But in general, this installation is going to work for most people. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is create um, a new uh, Conda environment just to make sure that you know that everything is clean here. So I'll call this GDAL pip, and we'll do Python equals 3.9, which is the most current version. This will just take just a minute to create, and it's going to add these packages to it. And so we'll let this go here. Um, and we should be done in just a sec. All right, so my environment is created and now I can do conda activate gdal pip. And we can just check and type in Python. You can see we're running Python 3.9.5 here. Okay, now you're probably used to typing the command Python dash M pip install package. So like this, so Python dash m pip install gdal. Now if I do this, we're going to have problems, but let's go, let's do it so I can show you what will happen. So I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to say that it's downloaded gdal, it's going to build the wheels, and unless things have changed since I installed gdal last with pip, we're going to have an error. See? There we go. We, so we get this error, and we get another error. So, um, Let's go python m pip show gdal, and it's not found. Okay, so we still don't have gdal, even though we just tried to install it with pip. Now, what we can do is we can go online and we can get a pre built Python will, download it, and use pip to install that. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to search um, gdal will python. And um, we're going to find this here. So the one you're probably going to look for and I find has been reliable is uh, Christoph Golke. And this is at a university address here. So this this top result when I search for this. You can see the URL here. I'm going to click on this. And there are a number of uh, other Python wheels here. So I'm going to come down here and find GDAL. And I'm just going to control F to search GDAL. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me down here. So now you can see that we have different versions. Um, so we have GDAL 3.3. We have Python version 3.10, Python version 3.9, we have a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Okay, I am running Windows 64-bit, so I'm going to download that. Um, if you're not running Windows, you might not have this problem with installing from PIP like I do. But I'm going to click on this one to download it from my Python version and my um, operating system. Uh, if you're not sure about yours, read the documentation on this website to find out which file is the one you're going to need to download. So this is going to take just a minute to download, and I'll pause while that happens. All right, so my will file is downloaded. I'm going to open my prompt back up. I'm going to cd into downloads where I downloaded that. And now I can do python-m pip install, and I can give it the name of this will file, which if I use tab complete, I'll get that will file I just downloaded. Now I can hit enter, and this will begin installing GDAL. You can see it's said it successfully installed GDAL 3.3.0, 
with no errors. Let's check this. Let's type Python. There it is. Let's type import GDAL. And we couldn't find GDAL. Let's go from OSGO import GDAL. And there we go. We can import GDAL. We can do from OSGO import OGR. And from OSGO import OSR. And there you have it. We now have GDAL, OGR, and OSR successfully installed using PIP. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. It helps me out and it helps make these videos seen to others who are looking for the same questions you are. Uh, don't forget to check out the website for the code and the write-up on this. The link for that is down below in the description. Thank you for watching.